Hi, it's DJ Rawstar. How's it going, man? Introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm uh, I'm in the Aquabats. This is true. Are you checking your own Wikipedia to make sure? Yeah, I was trying to make sure that was me. No, I uh, I'm, I play the part of the Bat Commander in the Aquabats. Yes. Usually, I'm wearing a costume. Did you have the Bat Commander idea in your head before you even started doing the music thing? Was this the character you had just early on in life as a child? No, no, no. It was. Uh, it just. It just came with the music, so we had to think of an excuse to be wearing costumes. So we had to come up with alter egos, you know. Were you always Spider-Man thing? Were you always creative before even doing music as a child? It, uh, it seems like you would be. Maybe I don't know. Uh, coloring books and pictures and uh, I'll watch TV. <laughs> sure. What was like the first album you bought that you were really excited about? Um, I was uh. <sighs> You know, I grew up listening to music in Los Angeles. There was a radio station called KROQ, and they were, like, pretty much the main radio station that brought punk, new wave, ska in, into the, the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So I grew up listening to that station as a kid, so that was kind of my introduction to punk and ska, and this was, like, the late 70s, early 80s, and... Um, I really liked Devo, and I really liked Oingo Boingo, and I liked, I liked a lot of new wave bands um, back then. And it took me a, a little longer to, to kind of dive deep into the hardcore stuff, you know, the Black Flags and the Suicidal Tendencies. And But uh, I, think, I think the first record I bought was, I saved up my money and I bought um, Nothing to Fear from Oingo Boingo, or was it only allowed? It was one of the, it was one of the Oingo Boingo records. But that was the first. That was the first one that I got. So the first song that you ever wrote. Who did you play it for? It was the first person um, that you, you 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 know. Was it your mom or dad? You said, "Hey, check out the song I wrote. What do you think? What's the review?" Probably one of the other guys in the band. I mean, no, I don't know. I mean, I don't remember. You I don't, don't have like still like in your room like framed like this is my <laughs> first song I ever did. No, no, I probably. Uh, I, I do save all my lyric sheets, so, so I have a, a drawer full of notebooks that I, I don't know why I haven't thrown them away, but they're, you know, it's kind of like looking back and a little bit of a journal kind of a thing, doodles and lyrics, and but I don't I don't remember the first song who I played it for, but do you have it was great, whatever it was, I'm sure. Do you have early sketches of your of your Bat Commander suit? Like, did you draw it first and then go out to create this? No, you know, I mean, when we started the band, we all were, most of the guys in the band, were, we were surfers, and we, we were friends, and we'd go surfing together and skateboard and all that stuff, and so um, our trumpet player, he worked at a wetsuit company, and so our first show, he brought the helmets to, to the show and said, guys, look what I made at work today, because he, he cut them out of wetsuit material. And um, he's like, let's wear them. So that, that kind of started it with uh, Catboy, our, ba our trumpet player. He just made them up. And so we, we just went with it. And then it, it kind of shroomed from there. So from the very first show you ever played, you wore the suit? Pretty much, yeah. The first show we ever played, we had those rubber helmets on. Did you prepare your family and friends for that, or did they just show up and, nah, and there you were? People were like, hey, look at it, there they are with the things on. You know, it was, it was all very uh, casual and silly, and it, we played a party for some friend, and it was just stupid, which it still is. It's just a little more. What's organized. The, the material you're wearing now? It's not a wetsuit anymore. Yeah, it's it wetsuit helmets. They're, the helmets are made out of wet, wetsuit material, and then the rash guards are what you wear under a wetsuit. So it's all. So how many wetsuits do you own? Is it just one suit and you continuously wear it? No, there's like a ton. So I don't know. But when you started, there was just one. There was just one. Yeah. So how do you how do you clean a wetsuit? You just throw it in the wash. Just cold. anything else. Wash it cold. No, you don't dry it though. You hang dry. Okay, well, that's very hang important dry. for anyone else that's going to make. Yeah, don't put it in footsteps. the dryer; it will melt. So that's no good. Dryer is no good. No good. We're here at Back to the Beach. Anything you want to say to the wonderful people at home that will see this later on in the future? Um, just have fun, you know. Play it safe. If you score more points than the other team, you'll win. <laughs> um, going back to Comic Con this year? Yeah, I think yeah. we're doing uh, Comic Con, House of Blues. We're we're going to be at Denver Comic Con and um, Salt Lake Comic Con, New York Comic Con. So we'll, 
we're kind of hitting the Comic Con circuit. Nice. I don't know why, but who cares? Like, they want you there. Yeah. Go for it. All right, man. Have a great night. I guess I do know why. Yeah. <laughs>